Hey y'all, how's it going? This is Taylor Goldenthal, Realtor with The Bridge Group and EXP. And today we're gonna talk about everyone's favorite topic, home inspections. Okay, you got me. Maybe not everyone's favorite topic, but they are a very important one. So I'm gonna let you on a little industry secret. Nobody likes home inspections. Home inspections are painful to go through, whether you're the buyer, the seller, the builder, the realtor, whoever you are in the process. Uh, the home inspection process is always kind of daunting. But um, another little secret, there is no such thing as a good looking inspection report. It really doesn't matter whether you're buying a $1 million new construction, a $300,000 resale home from the 60s out in Spring Branch. Um, every home inspection report is going to have a laundry list of items. However, every single inspection report can be simplified greatly to focus on the five key components. Now, what are those five key components to a home inspection? Well, they're also the five key components to a house, and they are your foundation, your roof, your HVAC, your electrical, and your plumbing systems. Uh, if the house has a pool, you'd include that as the sixth uh, key function. And if the house was out in the country, had a septic system, you'd consider that the seventh key. But let's dive into those key components to a home inspection. So when we focus on those five key things, and just for the purpose of this video, we're gonna pretend the house doesn't have a pool and it's not on a septic system. Uh, but when we focus on those five key things, what we're really able to do is hone in on those five things that can really make or break a house, make or break a transaction. Because at the end of the day, everything else is gonna come down to code-related things, which they change on a yearly basis. Um, CYA, cover your butt things, that the um, home inspector puts on the report that are just up to code and have to be disclosed on a report. And then wear and tear at the end of the day. And other than that, we can focus on those five key components. And those are the things that can really make or break a house. There are some of them more costly systems to maintain, to update, to keep in good working order and to replace. And if we can just simplify an inspection report and focus on those five key things, we're really in good shape at the end of the day. So first and foremost, let's look at the foundation right? The foundation is what it all sits on. Now out here in Houston, our houses sit on, a to on our topsoil and beneath our topsoil, it's nothing but clay. Uh, so at the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of settling over time, no matter where your house was built in and around the greater Houston area, it's just the nature of our climate. But taking a look at an inspection report, having a trusted real estate agent, and then a trusted home inspector, they'll be able to distinguish the differences between just typical hairline cracks on that foundation, settling cracks, or some serious foundation related issues, such as doors not opening and closing properly, windows not opening and closing properly, or at all sometimes along with other further shifts that really impact the home. Because if you let foundation issues go for too long, you can end up with cracked sewer lines and plumbing lines underneath your home and a slew of cosmetic issues as well. So really that foundation is pretty cut, cut forward and straight to the point. And a good home inspector and a good realtor is gonna be able to not only identify serious issues, but also guide you through that process as well. So that's our first key. Our second key to a home inspection, we're gonna call it the roof, right? Every house has a roof. Uh, it protects us from the elements and roofs can be quite expensive over time to replace as well. That being said, uh, homeowners insurance will generally cover a roof as long as it's not more than about 12 years old or so, uh, which is great to know. But whenever we're doing our inspection, we're going to focus on that roof and we're going to take into account what is the age of the roof and is the wear on the shingles, the loss of that granule material on the shingles, is that to be expected for a roof of that age? Yes or no? And if the roof is in good enough shape that you would expect for it, whether it's a five-year-old roof, whether it's a brand new roof, whether it's a 10-year-old roof, 15-year-old roof, we want to make sure that we cross all of our I's and dot all of our T's. <laughs> <laughs> we want to make sure that we dot all of our I's and cross all of our T's so we have the full picture of that roof. We have a good idea if it's going to be insurable whenever you purchase the home or if you're going to be looking at making a costly repair in the future. Now our third key component to that home inspection is the HVAC system. So not only are we focused on the AC condenser outside, we're looking at the duct work up in the attic, making sure that all the duct work is good working in order, that we don't have any leaking ducts uh, with air escaping and whatnot, that that furnace is in good shape as well, uh, and all the mechanicals up in the attic as well. And again, similarly to the roof, uh, if it's a new AC system, was it installed correctly? If it's an older AC system, is it in good enough working order and shape that we think we have a few more years out of it? And if it's a bad one, do we at least have a clear understanding of what is that replacement cost going to be? What does it need so you can have an informed decision moving forward? Next, we're going to take a look at the electrical. Electrical codes change on a yearly basis, it seems. And for the most part, an older house is going to have some of those electrical gremlins. But at the end of the day, when we're focused on the electrical, we just really want to make sure that everything is safe, that there's not any hazards that are going on, uh, and that there's nothing that a quick little electrician fix uh, can't suffice. And now finally, we have our plumbing system. Uh, homes have a variety of plumbing systems, uh, depending on the age. You have those older homes with galvanized pipes, copper pipes, 
Uh, you have some different plastic materials that used to be used, and now you have the holy grail of plumbing, which is PEX pipes. And what we're gonna be able to do with a home inspection is make sure, first identify what type of plumbing does the home have. Uh, generally speaking, we like to get that information during the research phase prior to submitting an offer. Chances are your realtor <laughs> can do that for you and let you know. So we have an idea coming into the offer submission and the offer execution phase of, hey, yeah, this house has galvanized pipes. If you're planning on being here for a long time, I would plan on needing to have your house repiped at a certain point in time. I'm gonna test for leaks all throughout the home, make sure there aren't any active leaks as well. We're in a pretty humid climate out here in Houston and we don't want standing water anywhere in the home. I uh, overall test the whole plumbing system for leaks uh, and make sure that things like the water heater in good working order up to code, not any safety issues or things like that as well. So, five key components to a home inspection. Yes, it's a daunting process. No, it doesn't have to be a painful one. Yes, every inspection report looks pretty ugly at the end of the day. However, if you focus on those five key components, they can be simplified quite a bit. And for the most part, everything else in that report can likely be solved with several hundred bucks in an afternoon after you visit Lowe's or Home Depot. I uh, hope you got some value out of this. If you have any questions about the home buying process, give me a shout. If you have any questions about home inspection referral companies uh, in the greater Houston area, I know a fantastic one, do a lot of business with them. And um, hope you got some value. Thanks so much. See y'all next time.